Let's lay out the facts. Oh, now I remember. Tanya got that message from Izzard, right? I did. I was thinking now might be a good time to see him. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. We'll be waiting outside. Thank you. I'll try to make it quick. What's this? This was an Imoase. A lens. A membrane covering an iris. Nimue, use this. Yeah. It must have been five years ago. It was on an expedition to the Cadencia frontier. However, Kvesi troops attacked at night. My squad was crushed. And I was hurt bad. The one who nursed me back to health was Nimue. Theirs was a curious colony. No one ever fought. They'd spend their days tending Sophronias. There used to be a castle there at one time, but at some point it was destroyed in a great battle, and there it lay in ruins. It was there that I saw some cradles left over from that time. They looked like they would break at any minute. But still, some were making soldiers. Nimue, she was just one of them. The people there, they were like we are now. They lived free of the flame clock's yoke. Sir, you say they were like us, so perhaps their colony was freed by Ouroboros at some point in the past. Well, I'm not sure. It looked like Nimue and the others had always been living off the land. Also, they'd been strictly shunning contact with others for generations. Naturally, most people there gave me the cold shoulder. Before long, I journeyed away from the colony, along with Nimue. Nimue left with you. Why so? There's a world out there. It'd be nice to see it.
I wondered at her motivations, but I think I see now. Now we don't live under the flame clock's yoke. We're more free to consider our emotions. Back then, Nimue had to carefully hide the fact that her iris was unconnected to a flame clock. She enlisted a Nopon engineer to make the lens. All so she could live among us. And after that, she became the Nimue you know. I never knew you two had such a connection. Incredible. But why show me this now? Well, actually... What? The leadership want Nimue's colony wiped out? Yeah. We only just heard. A Nopon merchant was able to tip us off. And since Nopon are involved in handling most logistics and transportation, the information should be good. So the brass have pinpointed its location? Could be. You don't have to be so cagey, Commander. Cagey? You can tell it to me straight. Am I wrong? You'd like us to keep Nimue's colony safe. But... Isn't that the reason? Why you've told me this whole story? If you moved to protect the colony, it'd put this place in the line of fire. I've heard. Like how, after the Consul's disappearance and the loss of the Flame Clock, Despite sending a report to HQ, you haven't received a word of reply. Hmm. We reported that it all happened while we lay there unconscious, which is the unvarnished truth, yet still nothing. I understand. Let me run it past the others, Commander. There's something I want to discuss with everyone. Could I have a moment of your time? Huh. We could do with some food. Phew. We're finally here. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Could you all come round for a second? What a beautiful story! Those two must have shared a lot of memories. Like you said, Tyler. Sounds like Ouroboros got involved in the past. So that pretty much makes it our business. Count us in, mate. Saffronia, that's that thingy, right? We saw one growing once. If there's loads of them blooming somewhere, that's something I'd want to see. Huh? I'm shocked. What? I don't like flowers and junk. Banana too! Banana have wished to see flowers! This is unusually proactive for you, Banana. Why so? Ladies and flowers are like peas of same pot. No idea what Banana talk about. But someone had to keep Manana out of trouble. That okay with friend Tile? Sure. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. I'm sorry to involve you in this. Don't worry. We all agree that this is something we should do. It's a while since we first got thrown together. We're used to this by now. And, you know, we want to see Sophronia's. It was me. I'm the one who threw Nimue's life into chaos. 
I should have just left her where she was. Commander. Kion. Sir? If Nimue's been reborn, if she's in that colony, keep her safe by any means. This time, I want her to follow the path she was meant to tread. Yes, sir. I promise. I don't get it. Why doesn't the commander just come along? He's got no choice, right? He might get the attention of the castle or something. Oh, guess so. That's not all, I think. Hmm? Huh? I'm sure he must be scared. If he meets her again, he might end up behaving the same way towards her. Is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. But I do understand how he feels. Yeah, I definitely hesitate. It's not just about himself. If I hadn't been so careless, the commander wouldn't have to feel this way. You're not still thinking like that, are you? No, no. I, I'm... I'm just... You're just what? Looking back all the time never helped nobody. Look, I... I know. Right? Come on, then. Uni. Huh? Okay, sorry. I know you're right. Is that what I think it is? There's a Pharonis here. Looks like it's trying to clear away the Earth. No sneaking through with this big thing in the way. I think we found the enemy force the commander mentioned. <sighs> Manana not see any people! Whole unit made up of Levnesses. Much weirdness. Hang on, look. A console. They haven't found us, have they? No. I don't think they've spotted us just yet. This one might have different abilities than that K guy. Guess that's a thing. But why have only Levnesses? I can't fathom what this Mobius can do, but they're about to wipe out an allied colony. They'd have a fun time explaining that to soldiers. True, true. Let's hurry. All that digging will take some time. If we can bypass this unit, we should be able to beat them there. Let's do that. And make sure we don't get spotted. Ready? Topographical info updated. We can stay undetected this way.
fight! Agnian Autolabs, is it? But who are they fighting? Could it be? So it would seem. Let's help them. Roger. Nimue! Mom. I know it's hard for you to believe us, but I promise you, we aren't lying. Can we really trust you? Nimue. Huh? I... Uh, I mean... These Levnuses were unmanned. It's likely they were a scouting party. The main force, they're drawing near. Very well. I'll choose to trust you. However, I do not speak for our entire colony. The others will decide on their own. Follow me. I'll take you to meet our chief. Chief? Here. I don't think Tyon's mind's on the job. Why you 
with the stuff. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. Get ready to fight! Was that your name? Ah, uh, oh, yes. No, sir, though. Just Tyon. Tyon. Before, you called me Nimue. How did you know my name? Um, well, you see... Right. Your dog tag. On your... Dog tag? What? what? Tyon. I guessed. I, I'm told I have great intuition. Guessing a name for me, <laughs> it isn't even a challenge. Wow, is that true? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> oh, this is doing my head in. Just stop it, tell her. Oh! Great idea, Nat. By the way, Nimue, you're the reincarnation of my old boss. Who's gonna believe that? It sounds crazy as all spark, dude. Uni, we've had a lot longer to get used to all this stuff, remember? <laughs> hey, something funny, love? Nothing. You're being very uni, but I like that about you. Oi, what's that supposed to mean? Uni is as uni does. Besides, hmm? I think it's not just the rebirthing thing. He's feeling the same as Izzard. Tyon is. Poor fella. Your blade. Huh? I have the same. Oh, that. That's true. You're the one who taught me. I did? Oh, uh, no. I meant someone who looked like you. Yeah, her. Right. What's wrong? You all came from outside, didn't you? Yes. What's it like out there? This place is all we know. We're not allowed to leave. It's forbidden, you see. That wonderful. A world of endless war. People taking each other's lives away. Yes. It's a pitiful place. Still, even so, I want to go. I need to see it. A world wide open. You'd have to fight, too. But you're not like that, are you? Uh-huh. It's a sad world, but you're trying to change it. Am I wrong? Well, uh... If there are people like you in that world... Well then, I'm sure it's wonderful. And that is what I want to see. Wonderful, she said. 
Oh dear. They ain't leaving be for a spell. Glad you like them. They're nearly in full bloom. Give it three more days, and they'll be covering the whole cliffside. Wow, now that I want to see. Yeah! The chief is over there. Let's go. Better give it a good once over. More colonies added. Looks like colony relations have changed. like the image Nimue showed me. Better give it a good once over. I thank you. Kind outsiders. Though, I'm afraid we will not be leaving this place. But why? There are troops on the way coming to kill you. You don't expect to just beg for your life. Chief! Since ages past, we have prospered in this land we call home. Even knowing war rages on constantly in the outside world. <sighs> if that war is to reach our land, then I'm happy to accept our fate. Or you could call it our punishment. Punishment? Outsiders, as thanks for assisting Nimue's team, we prepared chambers. However, that is only for tonight. Tomorrow, I would ask you to leave. We must follow the path which fate has set for us. Good to add more names. I see some relations have changed. Is this place a crop growing colony? You barely ever see any of these in Kevers. Seems like a nice way to live. It's warm. They live in comfort. Yeah. How could they deserve punishment? Hmm. Mm. What's this? I think this was from another me. Remember the battlefield at Kana? I found it there. Back there. Is Nimue different from before? No, she hasn't changed. Same old Nimue. Well, maybe it's the same with me then. Wait, hang on. Do you reckon the past me was more like her? In what way? Elegant, graceful, refined. 
No way. You'll be the same no matter how many times you're reborn. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't... What I wanted to say was... I don't suppose we could change. But, you know, some things are different sometimes. Huh. Because this time round, we're all Aboros. Things will be different. We're with you, Tyon. Uni? Ha! <laughs> I didn't expect encouragement from you. Well, you do make a good cuppa. <laughs> At this rate, it's going to be up to us. Can we manage? There's plenty of them. No people, though. Maybe we can just let Rip out here, then. I mean, I guess so, but... If we don't, this place is done for. Only one choice left to us. Right. What's that? Hey, do we want to rest? Tyon, what's up? It's just this for honest. A flame clock? Oh, man. And it even works. It's just a flicker, but still. Is it this colony's life force? No, I don't believe so. It's ancient, so it must be a malfunction or something. Remember, the people here aren't part of the flame clock system. You make a good point. I've got it! All of this! It's this thing's fault! Huh? What is? It was really bothering me. This place has been safe all this time. Why is Mobius just now taking notice? This is why. For whatever reason, this decrepit Foronis has come back online. Huh. <sighs> That's how they found out. Indeed. After all this time, it's bad luck for the people here. Tyon? Riku, do you know much about Foronis's? Silly question. Maintaining Colony 9 Foronis was one of many jobs of Riku. Oh yeah, right. That sure kept you busy. That's perfect. Then could you take a look at this? What for? If it still happens to work, we just might save this place. No, no way. So what if we get it to work? This thing's fighting days are done. It won't have to fight. We're going to play a little trick. A uh, trick? How is it? Friend was right. Ferranus can still move. Drive works barely, but Riku think it will run. Can you repair it? If we find several parts, then possible. How long do you need? Friend telling Riku to hurry? Well, mechanicists of Riku's talents can do this in 30 minutes. Can we get our hands on these parts in time? There are lots of Ferronis and Levnus wrecks sprinkled about here. Must be something Riku can use. Understood. Start making preparations for repairs. Let's split up and search for the parts we need. Sure. We'll handle it.
We need the three kinds of... You're going to fight? Uh, not quite. We're, um... Tyon, I want to fight too. No way. I'm not letting you get mixed up in all this. So you really are going to fight? Ah. <sighs> you could... get hurt. <gasps> if someone dies... I couldn't take it. Sitting here pretending none of that is happening? I understand our chief's feelings. It's thanks to her that we've lived in peace this long. But there's a war going on in the outside world. There are many who don't want to see it or wish it wasn't happening to them. Yet, you've come to us following your own path. And that is real. It's how the world really is. Nimue. Please. All right. I'll allow you to watch us while we're fighting. But under one condition. That is? When we first came here, it was like an awakening. There are still beautiful places like this in the world. We have to keep this place safe. That's what we're fighting for. Once you've seen how we do things, promise me that you'll protect this place. That fight belongs to you. My own fight? Yes. You have a deal, Tyon. I'll watch all of you. How you fight. I'll burn it into here.
Riku done. Time to light fire. Brilliant. It worked. Was it meant to float away? Yes, it was. Huh? Riku, did you input the coordinates? Of course. Riku fed Veronis numbers just as directed. What's going on? We've made ourselves a lure. A lure? Now I get it. That thing's gonna lure in the Mobius and beat it up. They know about this place because of that thing's flame clock. As such, Mobius are probably watching out for that Pharonis. So we'll make the Mobius think that the Pharonis sense their approach, and then it's going to attack? Honestly, I would give it about 50-50. Let's hope this particular Mobius is a complete fool. Anyone remember P? And then, we can all swoop in and rinse this mudder! Gotta love a nice and simple plan. What happens after we beat them? Won't they end up coming back? As long as the Pharonis is there? I haven't forgotten about that. I've got a little something in mind. Thank you, Tyon. Between us, we'll make it work for sure. And keep the Sophronia safe. Is it go time? Tie on! Here we go! Great. This guy really is an idiot. While those Pharonises are busy fighting, we'll move in from behind. We'll hit them where it'll hurt them the most. A console. Got it. Well, let's go beat some sense into that dumb Mobius face. We'll take him down for sure. a bit of a brain fart. Nice one. Oh! Ah! Impossible! Can I really have been fooled by these peons? My mighty self? Ridiculous! Not a chance! 
This just isn't happening! This guy's in serious denial. Anyhow, looks like he's genuinely clueless about Nimue and the others. Promise us you'll turn around and go back the way you came. And we will let you go. Give a message to your masters, if you even have any. Tell them exactly how you fell into our trap. Oh, what? You think I'm some lonely errand boy? Stop your messages. I'm all about the streaming. And I will enjoy yours before the day is through. That's why I am Mobius. Why are they all so gross? I will never turn back. I will cut through. I will fill this valley with the echoes of your dying screams. Thank <laughs> you.
What's he saying sorry for, creep? Okay, now Riku. Understanding. was an explosion. What the spark did you do? Friend want to know? To know. Will it take long? Explaining principles take half a day. Then I'll pass. Well, whatever the snap happened, it all went down a treat. If I was a Mobius, I'd at least try to check the situation before going all in. Seriously, what a total dingus. Anyway, we got the best possible outcome. Amazing. Tyon, I saw everything. The way you fought. Do you spend every day battling like this? Gladly, yes. Huh? We need the people of your colony to protect this place. It's true, there are times when our fight takes a toll on us, but we carry on that fight because we have a mission. A mission? The foe we fought today, Mobius, who made this world the way it is, we have to take it back from them. We have to make a new world, one without fighting, where you won't have to hide away in fear. Tyon. But sometimes we do need rest to forget fighting for a time. This place could be our refuge. I understand. Then we'll protect this land so that whenever you grow tired of your fight, you can return here to rest. Thank you. We managed to win. There's someone I want you to meet. Someday. <laughs>